All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're back here in the Freedom Shack. It all can't be gloom and doom. So uh, I thought we'd do something a lot of fun. Uh, I know we're not done with the budget versus elite build series. And the reason being is because I had a gas block issue on this guy right here, the budget build. So what we're planning on doing is we are going to replace this gas block, the adjustable gas block, which is the plain old uh, air precision standard gas block. They've always done really, really well for me. Uh, one of the cool things I just wanted to go ahead and show you is, man, I got all my little parts and pieces and put them in this thing and finally took the time to organize. One reason is because I did, I knew I had a gas block and I, uh, I actually found it. Right here it is. Uh, upcoming, we've got this guy right here, and I actually bought this one, and this is gonna go on the Elite build. This is the primary arms. This is the, uh, what, the hell, what the hell is this thing? The four to 16 with the R grid, which is absolutely perfect for what I wanna use that rifle for in a DMR competition. So it should be really cool. We'll go ahead and put that back here in a little bit, and I'm also gonna take this guy. Uh, I believe, uh, the, the reason that this guy was not accurate is, and I went back and I, I figured it out. I when okay. So the scope mount was loose. All right. So here it is the new build series. This is really cool. Uh, what's in the box. So what I'm planning on doing, there are a couple really cool items in here that really deserve their own video. And we're going to do that. Uh, not all of them. I mean, everybody's seen how to build a rifle and blah, 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 but let's go ahead and open this thing up. Now I want to thank a couple of people. One, uh, the guys over there at Palmetto State Armory for providing the, uh, the billet. This is their billet upper and lower. Now, if you remember, I did a video on this a little while ago, and I wanted to save this thing for something that was a little bit more, you know, special than your typical build. So the guys out there in PSA, I'll put the link down below for this thing right here. 230 something change for a billet upper and lower receiver set. Not bad deal. Um, now, here's one of the things. We are going to be putting a lot of uh, a company called Timber Creek. Uh, when I was down at the IV-8888 shoot, uh, they, uh, we, we talked, and it was going to be a lot of fun to do a rifle build that would utilize a lot of their equipment. So uh, we're going to do an individual review on this. This is their Timber Creek uh, ambidextrous, ambidextrous charging handle. Um, there's a generic company. They're no longer in uh, business, but uh, War Sport. And I went over to Blackstone uh, Shooting Sports over there in Charlotte, North Carolina, and they had a bunch of these things sitting out there for $49.99. So uh, I'm hoping that nobody buys the other ones that are out there. So we're going to see how this guy shoots, but we're going to use that. We're also going to use a flat wire spring. Uh, I am going to do a video on this guy. This is the mil spec receiver extension plate. This is a butt stock kind of a deal. And let's see, I always use the Lantec, uh, what do you call these things? Gas tubes. And then we have a couple other things. We've got the uh, Heartbreaker. I don't know why they call it the Heartbreaker, but this is their uh, Timber Creek's muzzle brake. So you guys will be able to see this thing in action on this. I don't know if I'll do a video on this on its own. Let's see here. Uh, don't need that on this particular rifle. Uh, we've got a rugged barrier stop, so we'll show you what this is. And if you notice the theme of this whole deal, everything looks blue. Let's see what else we got. The ambidextrous safety selector right here. Also, I have the extended magazine release right here in blue. Ay, ay, ay. I've got a low profile hand stop in blue. We have a castle nut, which I needed. All right, so another company, Airborne Arms, sent this out. Now, this, here, I'm gonna do an individual review on this because this is going to be bad to the bone. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a gas block. And it's been machined and it is beautiful. And I cannot wait to use it. So we've got that coming out. Uh, uh, Airborne Arms, small company, but I'm going to tell you something. Uh, they've got a lot of cool products that are getting ready to hit the market. It's going to be a lot of fun. Of course, I'm going to put the hoe grip. I had this laying around because we didn't use it on the budget or the elite build. All right, DS Arms, bolt carry grip. This thing, ladies and gentlemen, is probably one of the coolest things in the entire world. Now, there's something that's different about this guy. Not only is it beautiful, but 
it uh, <laughs> it's got it's a little different. And we'll go over that, and I'll show this. I'll actually do a full blown review on this. And then the piece de resistance is this guy right here, the Enforcer Handguard, 15 inch. This is M Lock Ultra Light. And I'll go ahead and open up the box here from the side. And of course, it's blue. So anyway, guys, uh, that's it. Just a regular old H2 buffer. Uh, we'll go ahead and start this build series right now. But in the meantime, in intermittent between that, we're going to be doing uh, another test on the budget build, that Bear Creek Arsenal barrel. Then we're going to go back and we'll do a comparison in the hot and cold and all the other cool things we got going on right there. I will tell you this. Uh, I, I showed you guys the uh, accuracy test. That... Uh, the Elite build is the absolute most accurate AR-15 that I've ever put together uh, using factory ammo. But in any case, that's it. This is the Timber Creek build uh, with the help of PSA and the good guys over there at Airborne Arms. I cannot wait. But anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I cannot wait to see what this guy looks like on that barrel. Scooter Boy 32 if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. Uh, the Attorney General in Washington is uh, starting his games now. Let's go to Boy 32. I am out.